ma'am since quilting and you, you work your work essentially is with fabrics uh um, can can you explain to us the role of something as simple as a sewing machine in your life in your career the sewing machine wherever i have it ever i have it anywhere in the moment i go to another place in the first week i have to have a sewing machine okay because i it's so much a part of my life and uh, i i i feel that in india so many of my friends for example don't even have sewing machines we tend to give everything to the tailor you know get it and i myself and it's not that you know, i'm making my own clothes or i hate hemming and doing mundane things like that but i feel that whenever i say i'm doing printing or i'm doing this people are always asking me are you employing somebody you know do you have tailors working for you i take pride in the fact that every last stitch is i put in is your own is i do not want to be a person then i really i feel that in any art or craft if that input is not there from the artisan or or Absolutely. artist that it shows through That's you know true. it is just it becomes mechanical and that uh, and also i find that when you're doing everything yourself from start to finish you get more creative because okay. you're saying you might just be that you put a bundle of fabrics out of the table you know then you suddenly see that this fabric on top of that fabric looks, looks so better wonderful look okay, let me try something try with that so by your working you are when you work with the medium yourself without giving it to somebody else you learn and i know my sewing machine thoroughly i really can operate it and do the basic repairs on it not that much but that's nice but that's yeah, really nice yeah, to me yeah. Uh, I mean, when they do either puja, I, I oh, <laughs> or my sewing machine. It's <laughs> really nice. That 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 it's nice. Something so uh, something that has uh, sort of lost its uh, value. as if i may you know it's kind of lost its value in indian household as of today yeah. even if people had sewing machines they've probably given them away they give they've probably yeah. given them to the dump or they've given them to and someone who might use them yeah. or sold them as scrap you know it's these smaller companies that are usha sewing machines i believe they make a lot of uh, a little more modernized sewing versions of them yeah. they've started coming into the market so it's it's nice to see that something forgotten is is yeah. sort of making sort of some sort of comeback to yeah. make to help you make something so brilliant something so extraordinary no it is so. it, it is the uh, as i said the craft needs the the whole art needs uh, needs the sewing machine correct but it becomes your friend really you have to know it you have to know how to work it and uh, what you can get out of it you know most of this work is done with free motion embroidery so okay. which okay. means that the, the the sewing machine has got any you if you know the sewing machine you might know that it's got a sort of corrugated metal thing okay. just below the needle correct. which is what feeds the fabric correct, correct. now when you know that you you can move your fabric in any way oh so virtually your needle becomes your pencil or brush or whatever and this your move becomes your canvas you're moving your pencil you're moving your canvas absolutely okay. so it uh, that free but free motion embroidery is something that you can do on almost any sewing machine if it's a good smooth machine it has to be a good a smooth machine then you can do free motion embroidery okay It's not, it doesn't need what I mean. What I'm saying is a specialized machine. Okay. I do this on a, a domestic sort of machine. Oh, so you can do it on something as basic as, as a domestic domestically sort of available. Okay. Good, good make of a good, yeah. of a decent make. That's it. Yeah.